Welcome to World News. The content of the briefing includes. A project supporting migrants was cost effective. Why did it end? A project supporting migrants was cost effective. Why did it end? New York Times. The UK government's approach to dealing with undocumented migrants is being called into question by experts, after a pilot project showed that alternatives to detention were cheaper and more effective at resolving cases. The project, funded by the government in partnership with a local charity and the United Nations Refugee Agency, provided support to undocumented migrants in the community and helped them resolve their immigration status. Of the 84 people who participated in the project, six were granted permission to remain in the UK, the same number as a comparison group of 84 people in detention. The project was found to be two-thirds cheaper than detention and contributed to the mental health and well-being of participants. However, the UK Home Office said there was no definitive evidence that the pilot provided more effective case resolution than detention and there was currently no evidence that alternatives to detention offered better value for money. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Dimension. Today, we dive into the perplexing world of UK immigration policies. Brace yourselves for an intriguing tale of cost-effectiveness and questionable decisions. In a recent project funded by the UK government, a pilot program was conducted to explore alternatives to detaining undocumented migrants. This project, in collaboration with a local charity and the United Nations Refugee Agency, aimed to provide support to migrants within the community and assist them in resolving their immigration status. Here's where things get interesting. Out of the 84 participants in the project, six were granted permission to remain in the UK. Strangely enough, the same number of people in a comparison group who were detained also received permission to stay. One might think that the pilot project's success would make it a clear winner, but hold on to your hats, folks. The UK Home Office has a different take on things. According to the Home Office, there is no definitive evidence that the pilot project provided more effective case resolution than detention. They also claim that there is currently no evidence that alternatives to detention offer better value for money. Now, I don't know about you, but if a project is two-thirds cheaper, contributes to mental health and well-being, and achieves the same results as detention, I'd call that a pretty good value for money. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. It's essential to analyze the situation from all angles. Perhaps the Home Office has concerns about long-term outcomes or the potential for abuse of the system. However, it's intriguing to see that experts are calling into question the government's approach, especially when a more cost-effective and humane solution appears to be within reach. Now, my dear viewers, it's your turn. What do you make of this situation? Do you think the pilot project's results should be taken into serious consideration? Or do you agree with the Home Office's skepticism? I'm eager to hear your thoughts and answer any questions you may have. So, fire away and let's unravel this mystery together. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.